Hello, my name is Scott Kondratowicz, and I'm here to give a presentation about um, an issue in the workforce, in the workplace, specifically our workplace. I looked at, I've been here for over 15 years and have experienced a lot of different things. We have the management group here today. Uh, we're going to just kind of maybe look at this topic and think about how it affects us, maybe affects people that work for you, um, affects, you know, anybody in the office. What I asked for you to do, though, um, because the topic is specifically around management, that I'm not talking about everybody in this room. Um, it could be, you know, people that you've worked with before. It could be people that are not managers. Um, some of these topics have to do with managers I've worked in the past, have to do with uh, some people maybe um, I've worked with recently. But uh, the topic, I think, is definitely a good one. It's something I've been dealing with lately. I'm only covering a little bit of it because we're here for a short time. So I only got about three things out of this topic. So the topic that I want to talk about today, I'm um, sorry, again, trying to click over to see it. Um, the problem is ineffective leadership. Uh, promoting the wrong person is one of the topics. Being liked over being respected. Uh, it's easy to be liked, but it's very hard to be respected. You know, being liked, you can just approve vacation days all day long and people will love you. Uh, thinking you have all the answers and you have to, uh, you don't have to have all the answers as a manager or as an engineer or, you know, whatever you do in the workforce. Uh, it's definitely an issue. And if you're a manager to think they have all the answers, it can make it very difficult for the people you work for you. So promoting the wrong person. Okay. Um, just because the person on your team, so let's say if you have a team of five people, and he is the best engineer. You know, they're very good at their job, they don't make any mistakes, and, and they're just they're just a joy to work with. That might not be the right person to make a manager or a supervisor. They actually might be where they're supposed to be. I've seen um, here, I have seen over the years, it actually happened to me, where they're taking somebody that is very good programmer, and they're like, hey, he's very good at that. Maybe he's a good manager. That's not exactly the case sometimes. It's very rare where someone's very good at two things. Um, they might be good at one thing, which would be the programming piece, but when you put them in a manager spot, you might be setting them up to fail. Um, they have to, you know, basically, they're, I don't know, how do you say this? Basically, they're less competent in one thing than the other, but that doesn't mean that they're not a, a bad employee, right? Um, you know, in the workforce, some of the engineers are, are higher paid than the managers, and the managers get mad because they're like, well, I'm the manager. I should be the highest paid person in the group. That's not the case. That's not the way approaching it. Management is a job. Um, being an engineer is a job, right? Being an engineer is different skills than being a manager. Just because you have the greatest engineer doesn't mean he's the greatest manager. Just because you have the greatest manager doesn't mean he's a very good engineer. So um, really looking at people's skills and, and really thinking about what they're doing will um, you know, help you to, to address on who to make a manager, who's a leader. You know, Just because it's a, you're your best person in your group doesn't mean it's, it's the best person. Um, you know. Look for people that are good for one thing, and, and don't try to stick them in a you know a square peg in a round hole. Uh, if you're a pretty good manager, you can see who's a leader, right? Who do people go to all the time? Who mentors people? Um, who gives presentations? Uh, that all matters. That's all part of management. Um, who's the guy stuck in the corner that that's just typing all day long? That might be uh, you know taking names and, and and doing a good job. That might not be the best person for this for this gig. So, you know, really look at who you're putting in a management place, and 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 don't rush to get somebody there because you you may like waste um, one of your best people. And you know, the, the other thing, the other point I got, and, and I missed this one, but you know, reward people for you know ways of you know right you know my in my in my group the way up is the management. Everyone looks at it that the only way I'm going upward is to become a manager. Well, that's not the case sometimes. Make it so you can be rewarded but still be good in the area that you're in. And
and, and not just be the only path to be management. Um, the other topic is being liked over being respected. Um, it's easy to be liked as a manager. I kind of said that at the beginning. You could just approve vacation days a lot. Send people home early. Don't make them come in when it's a snow day. All right? They'll love you. They'll think you're the greatest manager ever. But when the stuff really hits the fan and you need people to respect you or you don't want people talking behind your back or doing things, you know, just because you're the manager, um, that's a little harder. Um, it's, it's definitely not an easy task and, and, and it's a grind. You have to earn people's respect. You, you can't just uh, do whatever you want and, and basically make them all happy. And, and it's, not, it's not a popularity contest. So know when you're, you know, know when to become the bad guy. Know when to say no. Know when to discipline. Know when to say yes. Uh, people recognize that. They know the guy that always says yes to everything. They know the guy that always says no to everything. But the guy that really analyzes every problem and, and really takes a look at everything is the one that they actually respect. And, uh, you know, they'll look up to and they'll actually work harder for. And, and, and when the... When you need them in a pinch, they'll be there for you. The other topic is uh, thinking you have all the answers, but you really don't. Uh, as a manager, walking in the room and saying uh, the answer every time, thinking you're the guy that's supposed to be smarter than everybody that works for you, it, it's not the right way of approaching things. Um, you also you don't have to you know downplay people if they know the answer you don't have to take credit for an answer that you get from somebody else it's okay to, to say let me check let me go back later it's okay to say I, I don't know the answer to this thing and it, it, it'll make it better and then people will respect you for that and they, they know when you do that uh, don't walk in a room and just it's just a being a know-it-all it's just not the right way to approach things and it, it, it won't get you anywhere um, you know be to be you know, innovative to, to look at some of these topics because we have, you know, a little time here. But, you know, try people in a leader role. You know, give them responsibilities. Give them tasks to do. Um, make a couple people work for them in, in a group. You can see how they work as a leader. You know, you can try things without really just promoting someone and then chopping your leg off and then it's, it's all done at that point. You know, if you have a good leader, um, talk to them, coach them, mentor them. Uh, you know, don't just lay them out to dry because they were good at one job. Don't expect they're going to come right in and be good at the other job and just leave them out there because they're, they're going to fail. And, uh, you know, learn from your mistakes. Learn from other people's mistakes. Uh, we all make them. Uh, watch people that got promoted that shouldn't be. Well, well, why didn't he work? Why did this guy fail as a manager? Um, if you make a mistake, why did you fail? Uh, it will help you uh, grow and will help you be better. And it will actually help the entire office. Um, be a, a collective group and, and help you move forward as a team. Well, thank you for attending, guys, and uh, have a good day.